So I was on Instagram this morning and I saw somebody post a list, a very long list of a whole bunch of other Disney stores that are going to be closing soon. And my beloved Disney store outlet at Arizona Mills here in Tempe was included on that list of stores that are going to close on September 15th. All of the regular Disney stores in Arizona already closed months ago. I did a video with my last time going to the Chandler Disney store, but now Arizona is going to have zero Disney stores. They're closing my outlet here in Tempe, and they're also closing the one in Tucson, and they're closing so many other stores that I think there's now only going to be 25 in-person Disney store locations that are left. So I'm like filled with a mixture of like fury and mourning. I hate this direction that Disney is going like, oh, e-commerce is a thing nobody needs a physical store to shop at. But they have yet to address the fact that Shop Disney is still like the worst major e-commerce website and retailer. So if you're taking my beloved Disney store outlet away from me, they better make Shop Disney the best website there ever was. So anyways, I am taking my lunch break to go over to Arizona Mills to my Disney store outlet, likely for the last time. Like I said, it's not closing until September 15th, but I think from then until now, it's just gonna be clearing out stock. So even if I go later on, it's probably gonna be the same stuff and there's just probably gonna be less of it. So I'll do a little video of being at the store probably for the last time, and then I'll also share if I end up getting stuff, what I end up getting in kind of like, I guess, a final last ever Disney Store outlet haul. Since I don't live anywhere near the parks, I don't get to go frequently. Getting to go to the Disney Store is like the closest like in-person experience I get. But no, the Disney Corporation is like sticking to their new motto of uh, we're gonna give you less and charge you more. So I guess let's go on and do a final trip to my Disney Store outlet. So the entire store is currently 20% off with it being a store closing sale. And they also give you a coupon for $10 off if you give them your email at checkout. They had a lot of hats in, and this is where it was strange because they have some Disney World hats, and typically you really only see Disneyland merchandise here, but just kind of a random assortment of different Disney Parks themed hats. They also had quite a lot of the Disney Parks socks, just kind of a single pair of very expensive socks. And then this is just kind of your standard fare of the t-shirts that they always usually have there. And then quite a number of phone cases for older models here. They often have these pet items. I'm always tempted to get a spirit jersey for Micah, but I know she would hate it and it'd still be way too expensive. Then there's actually some of the merchandise from Galaxy's Edge, some of the kind of like little handmade dolls that they sell in the land there. They look like they're about $13 each. Some Droid Depot bows there, and then as usual, just more Star Wars themed merch. They have some children's spirit jerseys that are interesting. They again have Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique ones, and then they also have a Disney Cruise Line children's spirit jersey, and then also this super fuzzy, glittery Disneyland one. Again, more Walt Disney World merchandise, very strange to see. They had a lot of bags, kind of the fanny packs, waist packs, and then backpacks. None of this really seemed to be new stuff, um, stuff that they seemed to have had for a little bit of time. And uh, NBA stuff too. Then it seemed like some keychains that they kind of carry in the Disney parks. I did like this light up castle one. That one was pretty cool. 
some other keychains, and then quite a bit more of NBA merchandise if you're looking for NBA Finals 2020 merch. I know there is a big overlap of Disney people and NBA people, so. Also, another weird uh, Disney World 2020 shirt uh, that can be yours for uh, just under $13. And then they had some Christmas stuff, kind of some Christmas figurines here. And then some ornaments, um, seem to be from the parks, about $22 each. Pretty nice ornaments though. A Disney Cruise Line ornament, looked like it was for the Disney Magic. And then just some of the kind of standard, regular Disney store shop Disney ornaments. more ink and paint stuff too. They had some ears here, not too many styles, um, except the kicker is these were on sale for $24. I used to always get ears at my outlet on sale for $5, so uh, yeah, that's a big no to $24 on sale ears. Pretty much the same exact selection of limited edition pins as they've had for a while. These are all pins from the parks. Um, they're only marked down, I'd say, a few dollars from their regular retail price. So there's still quite a lot of holiday ones for a small world, more ink and paint ones, and then just a selection of other limited edition ones that came out in the parks over the last year. As well, of course, there always has to be Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge pins here on sale. Some Lady and the Tramp Disney Visa pins, which I think might be a reprint. And then they also have some of the big lanyards. Some more Galaxy's Edge stuff. They've had this Droid Depot backpack for quite a while here. Um, all other stuff, this seems to be like what is sold in Galaxy's Edge at the various stores there. Some That's some sort of creature there. Looks like you can even get uh, Chewie's bag. And then they just had one regular adult Disneyland spirit jersey. But this was $52 on sale. And again, that is not a sale outlet price. That is a pass. We got more overpriced socks over here. And even more hats. They kind of mainly seem to be the same type of hats. So they obviously have a lot of these in. have a Disney fairy tale weddings and honeymoons uh, class there so that's kind of interesting and then this is a selection of mugs similar to what they've had uh, so nothing really new and interesting there Disneyland sweatshirt and then also still more Walt Disney World stuff which again is quite strange again more hats these are kind of the ear hats one so I like the Mickey Mouse Club one Looked like that's about $23, so too expensive for me to get that. Um, even though, again, you do get 20% off store-wide. As always, again, I feel like I'm saying as always a lot, there are still so many of the keys and the key pins. There's just perpetually this huge rack here. None of them seem to be particularly extra, like, clearance items. It's just kind of the regular Disney store stuff of anybody who collects keys but they do have the bubble wands there and I wonder what's gonna happen to the big bubble wand display thing when the store closes uh, so we have some of the regular like Disney parks shop Disney pins in addition to some pop sockets so this is kind of what you can also find online on shop Disney And then they still have some of these flare keychains, and they have a wishables pouch, but that was regular price. They have some of the Jared Maruyama Disney Parks items, some other 
um, cups, including some New York Disney Store ones. Again, really like the Jared Maruyama line. Oh, and I need a Fast Pass to Friday. Better get your exclusive Fast Pass merchandise while it still exists. Um, also, immediately caught my eye some Emperor's New Groove 20th anniversary little figurines. Very cool. They had almost no Halloween items, which I guess is an indicator of, yeah, they're closing because this tiny little bit was the extent of Halloween that they had. They had some shirts that they were released last year and then just some pajama sets using um, the artwork from this year. But that was it aside from any of the little children's Disney Halloween costumes. And now again, it is time to say goodbye to my Disney Store outlet forever. So it is the next day and I finally have a free moment to share my probably last ever Disney Store outlet haul. Unfortunately, they didn't have a really good selection of merchandise in. It was a little bit random. It was where if the store wasn't closing, I would have gotten barely anything. Um, but as you saw in the video, the entire store was 20% off. Plus you got an extra $10 off if you gave them their email. And then I also got my additional percentage off using my Disney Visa card. So those savings combined with the fact that this is probably like the last hurrah there, I at least wanted to get some amount of stuff. So first up, I got two of the Halloween clearance pins from last year. I just got two of the exact same. It's like a candy corn castle one. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, but I really liked it and I got two because I thought I could use one as an interesting bow center on a pair of ears. So now looking at my receipt, one sticker says that this is $6.98 and another newer sticker on it says it's $7.99. So these both were $7.99. So I think they were cheaper before and then they raised the price by a dollar. But originally I think they were about $10 and then with all discounts combined, I got these for $5.11 each. I got one other pin. This was just one of the regular non-discount clearance pins there. And this is another one from the Inside Out collection. So I had gotten the sadness pin in my previous Disney pin haul, so I decided to get the corresponding joy pin, a nice choose joy in glitter. Retail on this $9.99 and I got this for $6.39. Next up I got a pair of these Disney socks. <laughs> They have Sleeping Beauty Castle on them and they say happily ever after. Just one single pair of socks here, no original retail price on it, but the sale price of this was $11.99, which is where if I'm going to just a normal Disney Store outlet trip, I would not get a single pair of socks for that sale price. But like I said, circumstances a bit different here. So I got these on sale for $7.67, which is still a lot for a pair of socks but at least they are nice socks and they will be my memento reminder of my Disney Store outlet. Next up in the category of it's not really worth it in terms of price, but I still got it because I was there, is this Disney Parks ornament. It's kind of like a snow globe ornament with little styrofoam. It has a mini Mickey and Pluto. It has Cinderella's castle in there and then you can't really see the text, but it says happy holidays behind all the snow there. And this feels like a nice like glass ornament, not like a cheap plastic. This says the retail price was $26.99. The sale price here was $21.99. And then I paid $14.08 for this, which is at least a little bit more reasonable. So I saw this Emperor's New Groove figurine set there. Um, and especially because it has Yzma as a kitty cat, I couldn't pass it up. This is nice because it's also specifically themed to the 20th anniversary, which took place this year. Original retail of this was $14.99 and I got this for $9.60. Kind of a similar vein to the last item in terms that it's just like a Disney store figurine type thing. This is a Disney Rewind collectible mystery figurine. I did get one of these before. They have a number of options. I luckily got the Miss Bianca one. So because there was a Wally -E option in this, I decided to, you know, take up the mystery risk. Also because I think the retail price of this isn't too bad for what it is. 
Retail was $8.99 and then I got this for $5.75. So we might as well just open this up right now and see if I lucked out and I can get a Wally figurine or if it's just gonna be a piece of plastic now in my house. I do think the packaging of this is cute, how it's made to look like a box of popcorn and this is kind of like the base for the figurine itself. So let's see what character is in here. God dang it. <laughs> Here's another rescuer's card. So I'm guessing this is another Miss Bianca. Which, of course, out of all the options, this is the one that I already have. So if anybody would like a little Miss Bianca Disney Rewind figurine, this can be yours for just the cost of shipping. I got two more things, both Disney Parks items. The first of which is this Jared Maruyama tumbler cup. I've seen it at the outlet a few previous times. This is just straight up like regular priced merchandise and was really tempted by it but didn't go for it. But now because I got the store closing deals on it, I figured it was worth it because the artwork on this is so cute. Classic Jared Maruyama style. And I love how there's so much of the attractions combined with all the sweet treats and really you have like all of the major park icons on here. It is quite small overall, so we'll see how it is functionally, but I think this could be a nice like little water cup during the day. So this was $22.99 and I got this for $14.71. And then the very last item I got was this Disneyland sweatshirt. It, it says Disneyland on it in this rainbow gradient. I hadn't seen this before. I think it's a really perfect, nice lightweight sweatshirt. And this was something where the price on it was actually a decent deal in my mind. Retail price in the parks was $49.99. This was marked down to $17.99. And then I got this for $11.52. So that's all of what I got on my likely very last trip to my Disney store outlet because it is, because it is no longer going to exist anymore. It was really sad talking to the cast members there. A lot of them recognize me based on the frequency with which I come in. I mean, there's there's absolutely no reason for Disney to be closing all of their physical Disney store locations other than, you know, they just show their side as a greedy, evil corporation. Not looking forward to having to use Shop Disney for everything in the future. <laughs> I mean, at least this should mean like my Disney related spending will go down or maybe now we'll just divert any Disney spending to small shops and then Disney itself won't get it because they've taken away all the Disney stores. Let me know if you too have been affected by the Disney store closures. I really feel for all the cast members. They've just needlessly terminated so many positions. So yeah, didn't think I'd be having to make another my Disney store is closing forever video so soon. But thanks for watching.